the 3M brand Cold Shrink Termination Kit QT3 7672S8 series is designed to terminate a 69 or 72 kV shielded power cable. The kit will terminate such cable types as tape, longitudinally corrugated or LC, jacketed concentric neutral or JCN, tape over wire shielded and wire over tape shielded cables. The 7672S8 termination kit covers a conductor size range of 250 to 2000 kc mil or 125 to 1000 square millimeters. Caution: Working around energized electrical systems may cause serious injury or death. Installation should be performed by personnel familiar with good safety practice in handling electrical equipment. De-energize and ground all electrical systems before installing this product. Installation of this product should only be performed by properly trained personnel. Each kit comes complete with these components. Before beginning the installation, be certain that the lug or connector being used will fit through each of the cold shrink tubular termination assemblies. If the lug does not fit through the assemblies, this termination cannot be installed using the lug. This demonstration shows how to terminate a 69 kV wire over tape shielded cable. Prepare the cable using standard cable preparation practices. We will now install the grounding and seal the bottom of the termination. Position the preformed ground strap assembly on the cable by passing the prepared cable through the center of the assembly. The ground strap assembly can be used on all cables that have a tape shield or corrugated metallic shield including those with wires as shown here. Form the three strap assembly around the tape shield with the tails over the cable jacket. Install a constant force spring over each strap. Cinch the springs tightly. Mark the location of the solder blocks on the cable jacket. Lift the strap tails and wires, folding them toward the cable end. Cut a piece of one inch wide Scotch brand mastic tape compound 2229 long enough to make a complete wrap around the cable jacket. Wrap the mastic around the cable jacket located in the center of the solder block marks. Fold the wires back over the mastic, evenly spacing them around the cable. Cut another piece of 1 inch wide 2229 mastic long enough to wrap over the previous mastic and wires. Wrap this piece directly over the mastic and wires. Move the ground strap tails over the cable jacket and position the solder blocks over the mastic. Cut four 1 inch long pieces of the 1 inch wide 2229 mastic. Roll each piece to form a small roll. Place one roll on each side of the ground braids. Cut a third piece of the 1 inch wide 2229 mastic long enough to wrap over the ground braid solder blocks and previous mastic. Wrap it directly over solder blocks and mastic. Cover the mastic, the constant force springs, and the tape shield with two highly stretched layers of 1 and 1 half inch wide Scotch brand vinyl electrical tape Super 88. Apply the tape in half laps so that each wrap of tape covers half the width of the previous wrap. Do not cover the exposed cable semicon. Up to this point, the sealing steps shown are similar to the sealing steps used to seal tape, JCN, or LC type cables. Consult the appropriate instructions provided with the kits if you have questions about appropriate installation techniques. Next, install the lug or connector according to the manufacturer's installation instructions. Clean the cable insulation and lug barrel using standard practices. Do not allow the solvent to touch the Semicon insulation shield. We will now install the stress control materials. Take the large high K mastic pad and remove the liners. Wrap the pad around the cable two times using light tension to cover one inch of the cable Semicon and five inches of cable insulation. Trim the mastic at approximately one quarter inch past the second wrap and taper the end of the mastic with your fingertips. Cover the mastic with two highly stretched half laps of the one and one half inch wide vinyl tape, leaving one eighth inch exposed on each end. Taper the exposed mastic with your fingertips. Using two tubes of P55R red compound, coat the cable insulation starting five inches from the end of the insulation and going over the vinyl covered mastic. Install the stress control assembly tube by sliding it over the cable. Make sure that the loose core end faces the lug. Align the tube, not the core end, at the edge of the metallic shielding and remove the core by unwinding it in a counterclockwise direction. 
Clean the exposed cable insulation. Select a 2 inch by 11 inch high K mastic strip and remove the liners. Wrap it over the end of the stress control assembly, covering 1 inch of the stress control assembly and 1 inch of the cable insulation. Taper the end of the mastic with your fingertips. Apply two highly stretched half laps of 1 and 1 half inch wide vinyl tape over the mastic, leaving 1 8 inch exposed on each end. Taper the exposed mastic with your fingertips. We will now install the lug seal. Using another 2 inch by 11 inch high K mastic strip, fill the gap between the lug and the cable insulation. The mastic can be folded to fit the connector insulation gap. Use additional 2 inch by 11 inch high K mastic strips to create a smooth transition with one layer covering 1 inch of the cable insulation and 2 inches of the lug barrel. Using moderate tension, cover the lug seal mastic with two half laps of Scotch brand silicone rubber tape 70, leaving 1 8 inch exposed on each end. Taper the exposed mastic with your fingertips. Apply one tube of P55R red compound, coating 4 inches of the cable insulation and 2 inches of the silicone tape covered mastic. Install the silicone rubber lug seal insulator tube by removing the core, unwinding it in a counterclockwise direction while keeping it aligned with the edge of the lug seal mastic. We will now install the termination silicone rubber insulation. Apply three tubes of P55R red compound. Coat the stress control assembly, the exposed cable insulation, and fill the step at the edge of the lug seal assembly. Do not coat the lug seal insulator tube. Install the silicone insulator assembly, that's the long tube without skirts by sliding it over the cable with the loose core end first. Align the tube, not the core end, with the end of the lug seal insulator. Remove the core by unwinding it in a counterclockwise direction. Install the skirted insulator assembly by sliding it over the cable with the loose core end first. Align the tube, not the core end, with the end of the silicone insulator assembly and remove the core by unwinding it in a counterclockwise direction.